Guys, good morning. So we're here again. Remember the 89 porch targa? We're gonna do it right now. Okay, so on this one, we're gonna replace the windshield. We're gonna we got a new glass, the brackets coming with already. Uh, this kind of bracket style is the same like the uh, Renault or Piat. So the same thing, just the retainer coming from the top, so it's very easy. Um, now the only problem I have is uh, they, they just give me a gasket, but I don't have um, the, uh, the lock strip, you know, the retainer right here. So I have to reuse it. My problem is I got two options. I can just put the molding under and save this one because if you start pulling, it's going to maybe make some marks because maybe it's dry out already. So it's going to be a little, not difficult, but it's going to be, you know, it's more easy if they give me the new one. But they don't want to approve it, so we gotta go on this way. So this is gonna be an easy job. Talking about um, the, you know, it's like the old uh, gaskets, but when they're brand new, they're coming really tight. And the problem with these ones, when I say tight, is the style of gasket uh, in Germany. They love the same like Mercedes. They like to make lips uh, in the gaskets. Like let me show you, like this one. So this one is gonna hold the pitch wheel, but they make a lift. So that one is gonna secure it. I don't let the waters go in. But no matter what, we have to seal the gasket between the glass and the and the waters and the lock strip right here. Because if we don't put some seal, it's gonna leak. And especially if I'm gonna use the same one. Now, supposed to gaskets don't have to be sealed, but this one does. We have this one, it's the bone seal. That's special for that. They give me that, so we're gonna use it because we have to seal the gasket here or customer can have a leak later. Okay, so we're gonna start working. I don't use power tools on these vehicles, never, never. Because I don't wanna be involved in some problems because you mess something here, we don't have parts, okay? So we're gonna remove first our cover. Is it windy? Uh, maybe it's gonna rain, maybe no. Okay. I got it just right here. It's right inside the bin. I gotta just take them out because I don't see it. So I got this uh, tools for the customer right here. So maybe they work a little difficult. But I don't want to touch because sometimes when you touch the customer stuff, something is missing. They're gonna call you. Alright, uh, we can appreciate some uh, cracks on the dashboard, that's why they have protectors just to cover this, the, the, the damage, but you know, it's already in my camera, so we don't have any problem with that. And then one more. Remember I have one screw inside, so I gotta take them off. Alright. Okay. So now we're gonna get that one because we need the uh, the room because the gaskets go in very deep. Okay. So remember, we have to just go. My screw is in it. I just have to cook it with uh, with my magnet. So don't worry about that right now. Remember, this one is the same like the Renault Piats very easy it's got some damage I don't know why maybe they try to do something because the problem is when they use Loctite sometimes they mess with the Loctite here so they stick both together and sometimes it's really hard so that's why I think they try to just take them off before ah. so now we have an antenna and that antenna is on the driver's side under so it's we gotta go under here is a little hole and the hole is gonna send us under so we're gonna start working here. So now my deal is if I just pull the trim, uh, it's a soft plastic, but still I, have, I can make some damage. Like, let me show you. You see, it's really tight. So if I start pulling like this, I'm gonna damage. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna cut the rubber and that's gonna make me release, um, you know, the, uh, the gasket more, I mean the rubber gasket more easy. 
and save my train. Let me put my safety. All right, it's gonna be a little difficult today, but no big deal. We're gonna cut this one here. So I'm gonna cut here, just making the room. Scrape up with your blades, okay? See, it's still very tight. on this way that's what I'm gonna have this one and it's gonna help me to release the gasket more easy and of course uh, the part I'm gonna save All right. All right. No. you see the seal that's where they, they put the seal, this one. You can see the glue between the gasket. That's why we have to do the same one. This one doesn't have too much, but you see the glue. It's not the urethane, it's like a silicone, a little more soft. All right, that one is proper ready. So my goal is don't make too much damage and the, uh, the lock strip. This one, because it's the middle. But that's the problem. Sometimes it's more easy to damage that one. You turn, just your hands, not your arms, or you're gonna fall. Just like this. You turn your hand, okay? Alright. We're gonna cut that one. You can see the, the seal so they didn't put too much just to secure it they got the gasket the glass mean because the customer has an accident most than the leak is going to retain the glass on the place uh, let's see if we can pull this one not too much but I don't want to just bend A little more, we're gonna make another cut. This process is slow, so don't worry, don't rush, just do it slowly. You have your time. See, this one is already cut up. So now here, let me go more deep, not too much, too much, no, just a little bit. Now we gotta just make sure it's gonna attach in the same place. This is the problem. You gotta make sure the bend is not gonna be affected. When you pull it, remember, it's gotta be matching the same way. You used to see you're pulling off and it's bended, just fix it like put it right here, put your finger. If this one is bended back, just bend it back like this a little bit and it's gonna back again. Okay? That's the problem with this one. This is easy to bend it because it's a metal, or aluminum, sorry. So that's why I suggest my customers or the guys here just replace it, but they don't agree because that's going to cost more money. 
but it's a race to bend it. Because the only problem with reuse it is gonna affect maybe the finish, but not nothing else. I'm just cutting the gasket, not the pitch wheel, okay? Don't go too close to the pitch wheel or you're gonna scratch it. Gotta be just the area when the gasket, okay? One more. Okay, a little bit, a little bit. Remember, it's gotta be on the place. We have our trim already saved. Right there. Just carefully, carefully. Because this one can bend easy. And I need in one piece. You see, got it rust. Because it's accumulated water on the corners. Maybe the drains they already block out. So we have to just make sure they're open. Alright, so this is our trim. Passenger side, driver side. That's why I recommend replace it because you see it's really teeny. And believe me, this is really hard to put in a car. Even when you put in new ones, they just start coming off. So I have to just put the, ga uh, the trim on the gasket, uh, put tape around it just to hold it and just pull with it, you know, the old school, like the rope. So let's see. So our glass is already there, you see the rust, it's accumulated water here. So it's gotta get some drains, but sometimes they're blocked. So gotta make sure they open it. So I have to just sand all that, put some primer, you know. The cracks are already there, so I just push a little bit. Now, good retention is when you I just snap it with my hand or tapping and it's not gonna come up. This one come up because it doesn't have too much seal. So that one is when you put the seal. You have to prevent the glass go exposed out of the car in an accident because this one is not really good retention. So it's just the gasket. But of course, the gasket is gonna play the game too. So it's not just the glass, but if in case the rubber is still in place, the glass has to be the same kind of place. That's why we gotta use the, uh, the seal. Alright, right there. And we got it right there. Alright, so I got that one, sorry about that. I got it right there. Okay, so we got the glass free now. Okay, so I'm gonna make a cut. You see, this is the wire. Let me show you. Okay, it's behind. You see, the plug is here, so it's under right there. Okay, so I have to just, I'm gonna cut it from here because I have to get access, it's gonna be more easy to me now, just cut them off. Uh, my pliers, I think I left those pliers on my tools right here. Today the weather is same and very bad. So maybe I'm not gonna be allowed to do more than two today. But we don't know yet, so I'm gonna cut this one. Okay, so I right there. Ah. I'm just gonna put it on the floor right here because I need to save the stickers. Ah. You see, when those guys they put the seal, they only seal here, here, but nothing on the bottom. Or maybe it's older, you know, can be too. Okay, and this is our gasket. So the gasket always retain and also you have to re-glue the molding at the body too. There's a lot of wear on this one. Right? You can see the seals. You have to put seal on both sides. You gotta put it on the on the on the pitch wheel. You see this one? And the glass. It's the best to retain this this glass on the you know on the car. Okay, so I'm just gonna start cleaning. It's gonna take me a little while because I have to just use the metal scrub. I gotta just clean the rush, you see all these I got to do trimming and making really clean primer clean the glue so it's gonna take me a little while 
Um, I'm gonna show you about the antenna because it's right here, but it's under, so you can see it, you can feel it. So soon, let me just get uh, all this clean, and I'll be right back just to show you the best the job. Okay, guys, so we already wait. We prime all the area. You know, this area was bad, so we clean it up. We use the uh, metal scrubs. We clean it up really good. We prime all the area. Some little touches, little more far away from here because it's too high. The rush was coming up. So, but the mark for the molding is going to be there. Okay, now this is my antenna. So it's coming inside. Let me show you. Let's see if you guys can see it. It's right there. My plug is just right there. Okay, if I move it, it's right there. Maybe you don't see it, but it's right there. So I have a flashlight, but I can find it. So it's just a little pin holding. And just gonna put my hand inside. Open a little bit this one. And just open. Take them off. There you go. Okay, so this is your antenna. And there's the plug right there. A little teeny plug. So it's gonna be easy. Sometimes the difficult is when you gotta go in because you have to hold the glass and just put the antenna in and start working. Two people sometimes is the best, but you can do it by yourself. So this is not work anymore. Now this one, we, we, uh, we take in reference. This is the, you see the mark right here is the middle for the bracket, the antenna, so that's the right place. So we're gonna just put that one in out <clears throat> at the bottom. Most of the cars, the union is on the bottom, but some they change on the top, so not always gonna be the same. So we're gonna just put our gasket here. Alright. That one there. We're gonna just put the corners first. Now the big one first, the small one is going to be the last one. I like Germany gaskets because they are nice. They are tight, but they are nice. Okay, the gasket. Because the aftermarket, sometimes you have to just pull the gasket and try to make it more bigger. It's a really issues with those aftermarket moldings. There you go. Okay. Turn here. Now inside the gasket is when the retainer for the for our moldings. Now before I put my my uh, molding, I have to seal it. Like I'm gonna open here and inject the glue inside. And when I pull that one in, it's gonna just squeeze the glue out and it's gonna hold the molding. And I have to just probably clean the excess, but I'm not gonna use too much. So you don't have to clean too much. So that's for this one. And now this is the deal. We when you're using a gasket you don't have to seal the body and some models because the retention is about the gasket it's a brand new it's two lips and another couple of little uh, uh, lips like uh, three layers so they're gonna hold it so the problem is I'm gonna put some glue but a new gasket sometimes really tight you have to use uh, maybe lubricants like a water with soap or maybe a little oil or W40 so remember you're gonna use glue and DW40 or another IG agent uh, lubricant is not gonna stick, it's the same thing, it's not gonna work. So, the only you can do is probably, you can put the seal a little more on the top, and when you put the gasket and you pull it, it's not gonna just pull the, the glue out. It's the only way, and you're gonna seal the gasket between here and on the base by the pitch wheel eyes, okay? So now I'm gonna just uh, put the seal and put my molding. This one is easy. Okay, so this one, the only you have to do is just, uh, you know, when you reach the position right here, remember you have to see the molding fits perfectly. If it's bended, just try to fix it before or it's gonna come up. Like this one, you see it's a little higher. So what I do is put my finger here and just bend it back a little bit right there, not too much. And you see, I reach my area here, 
little bit more and it's touching both corners in the middle too okay so the only you have to do on these ones it's an example i have to seal the gasket first you just push in the molding uh it's gonna be a little difficult because you see the gap so let me show on this way this one right here you gotta push it in and the gas is gonna hold right there you see like that way you have to do is just open it open it open it open it and i start to just catch in that one but you have to seal that's why because this one is not really big so that's why the water can go between here and just go on in inside so that's why you have to seal it okay so i'm gonna just seal put the gasket and i'll be right back just to pull the windshield in we're gonna use a rope this one I like this one because another one uh, is more teeny, but that one can get the most of the gaskets. So that's one I don't like too much. Um, usually people start pulling the bottom, but I make something we call the eight, uh, loop eight. You're gonna get two of here and two over here. So that's gonna just gonna work in two sides at the same time. It's gonna make more easy the install. Okay guys, so I'll be right back just soon I seal it. Okay guys, so we already finished with primer. It took me a little more than 20 minutes because I have to just, you know, uh, put the molding, the gasket, everything on the place. You see it, it's very nice. Now what I'm doing, or you can do, is just to help the molding when you sit, because sometimes when you start pulling the rope, the molding can come up. So what you can do, is just put a piece of tape, just like this, just to make sure it's not gonna come up. All right, because sometimes when you, the roots start going in, these parts start to come up, so it's gonna be a little difficult. So just one piece. There, 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 there. And I here. Piece. that's gonna help you just if in case the roof make the gasket torn and start to making this molding come up okay sometimes happen so all the time but you gotta take your don't take a risk because it's gonna make the whole job just come but you gotta take it take it again put it back in so just try to avoid that all right and that's enough okay and now we're going okay we're gonna start on this side right there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. got the edge right there remember i'm gonna just pull two at the same time it's gonna be more easy mm -hmm. that's it huh Gonna come inside there. Alright. And you can just let it go. Right there. Now from inside. I gotta pull the antenna a little bit more. Right there, I got it already. Alright, I'm in. I remember we gotta fit the top first. That's the lid. There you go. Just gotta make sure everything fits close. The most you can. Sometimes the bend is gonna change that. Like you see, there's more space here. That's normal because you're too much on that side. The top and the bottom but it fits good. So this one's gonna move that way. Just try to get the same measures for this one. Because when they start to go in, it's gonna just go by itself. You see, they're the same size here. The more important is the top. At the bottom, this one, you gotta pull it out with your hook when you finish. There you go. You see, when you're doing this, is when the molding can start to come up. So that's why you have to get careful with that thing. Corners the most you can go close is better, okay? Mm 
Okay, so we got it one side here. Okay, that's good. There you go. Okay, guys, so we're gonna start pulling from inside. All right, so we ready? Okay, I have to move the stuff because I need a room. Okay, as you see here, this is my antenna, it's right there. Um, this is my rope. So I'm gonna start just pulling my suction cups on these directions. I'm gonna just pull to uh, first the top, the bottom, and that's gonna make my seal just tight. Because sometimes you're starting from the bottom, or the top, the glass move. So that when it moves, it's gonna change everything. So that's why I like to just go on two sides at the same time to prevent the moving. When you're working by yourself, or you have a partner, it's not a big deal. You see, I'm close to here. Close to there, I got a gap. There you go, okay, okay. So now I'm grabbing from here. I'm gonna hold first the bottom. A little bit like that. Just a little piece. Right there. And now, the top. Okay, now here. What I do, okay, I'm gonna just make it go inside. I'm gonna use the hook, it's very tight. Remember, it's a brand new gasket. Just careful, right there. You can just there like that help a little bit right here now go this way okay you see now the glass is coming down by itself you have to do too much stuff come down here that's normal Here, just careful. The antenna you have to just put the rope around, okay? Don't pull it, or you're gonna break the antenna. That's the more difficult part here, okay? You see, if I go fast, I can just cut the antenna and you're in trouble here, okay? Here, I don't have the hook. The other one you saw my video for the porch, my, uh, one of the porches, uh, the quarter glass. I think I left my hooked up uh, the little ball in that car okay this one is no big deal so we have to fix that one later oh right now but I mean it's going to slowly okay let's go in here right. I hope this corner is the more difficult sometimes talking about you working by yourself you have a partner he can just hold it and you can just pull it All right. there you go. and one more piece right there I'm gonna go like this a little massage there you go I can see the corner in Okay, and now we're good on this side. And let's go the other side because now outside the molding is new. I have to make them fit, and this when the mold, the glass go down more. Okay, I gotta go in here. Uh, you know what? Let me go to the other side. This one I have the headliner. It's a little teeny headliner. It's the old one. But it's really, it can be stuck in my gasket. Let me just open a little bit. Just push it with my finger. There you go. Okay, now let's go the other side. This one we gotta go behind, remember? Okay. This one, you can go more close. 
I'm gonna make more problems with the basket. Be careful with this one, there you go. Okay, now we have to just push it down, but we have to open the corners, remember? Alright, right there. Okay, right there. side we have to open the corners too uh, careful do your corners don't break the gasket do your massage You see, the glue squeeze more because it's making more pressure. So that's nice. All right. Let's see who's calling. One second, guys. Let me see if it's not the boss. All right, it's right here. Okay, guys, so. Now let's check inside. <clears throat> okay, so as you see, so the gasket is perfectly fit inside. It's not gonna come off anymore because they got it like a double, like a three or four layers of gaskets holding. So they're not gonna come off anymore. Oh, this fits nicely. It's completely touching. Uh, maybe this one here, have to just fix it a little bit. If the headliner sometimes come up, yeah, with your fingers, you see? It's coming in. There you go. Okay and it's fix it because sometimes the headliner is a little older okay in the bottom looks nice remember this one carefully we have to run our line like this uh, this is more shorter so i have to go here all right there you go now it's a little tape right here you can just leave the tape or you can push in down the antenna whatever you want to do is the same right there as usually we have to take this tape because the molding the antenna has to be covered the most you can inside the gap right there i gotta remove that one it's easy just gotta you do is like this just take them up you see it's coming up like a little tape right here I gotta clean down with my pliers okay so clean down one so the race is nice it's tight and it's in place okay so now they only have to do remember my baby mirror it's gonna be just attached the same like the Piot uh, Piot or Reynolds it's gotta just you know top of this one like this and that's it um, I just gotta put the little metal band right here um, plug the antenna from the under the hood um, we finished guys, so this is, was uh, uh, not really hard, but it's got to use a tricky Because they can be a neighbor when you're working by yourself and pulling the gasket at the same time So that's why I make two, two ropes, one on top, one on the bottom And that's the way you can do it by yourself And the suction cups of course So I have to just remove the tapes Just put this one right here Because it's going to be raining So let me take this one off Okay, so let me show you. you. See, that's gonna secure your molding. On the place. So you can replace the molding, mold but you know, if the customers don't want to, you see, that one is nice. 
I recommend replace it, but they don't want it because it's more money they have to expend. But it's fine, you can reuse it. Yes, I feel more comfortable when I use the new ones, but there you go. And you see, and it's covered everything, so it's tight, nothing coming off. We got a new one right there. Okay, guys, so I gotta go because it's gonna rain.